Alright, here we go. This is pretty straightforward, it's kind of basic. How do you find the other standard of 4.1? First of all, let's say what it means. What does it mean when you find the inverse standard of 4.1? Angle. Okay? Definitely is an angle, an angle that what? Has, has a tangent of 4.1. If you took a tangent of it, you get 4.1. Okay? Second, tangent 4.1 means 6.2. solve this equation. First, we'll just not worry about that. Now we're going to find an angle that has a cosine of negative 0.22. Yeah? Uh, cosine negative 1. Alright, so let's get the nomenclature down. How do we say that? Inverse. Cosine negative 1 or inverse cosine, as somebody said last year, is reverse cosine, which is kind of what it is. Supposed to be reverse cosine, inverse cosine. Okay, so it depends on whether you want to degrees or radians, right? Should we do degrees or radians? Degrees. Degrees, just because this thing is in degrees. If it's between 0 and pi, well, no, between uh, pi and uh, 3 pi over 2. But this is in degrees, so we'll go with degrees. It's 100 what? 100 and 100 and 109. But now, we don't ignore this anymore, we realize that that doesn't work because what they want is between 180 and 270. Always draw a picture whenever possible. This is possible to draw a picture. This is possible. 102.79, or 709. That's right there. If they want an angle that's somewhere between here and there, between 180 and 270. The thing we know about this angle is that it has the same cosine. Remember the cosine is the x. So it's negative 0 0.22 comma. We don't know what the sign is. We can figure it out if we want to, but we just want an angle that has this cosine, but it's in here between 180 and 270. So if you're to draw a picture of it, how would you draw a picture of an angle that also has the sign of negative 0.22? Now, how would you draw it? That's not how you draw anything. You can't do subtraction and have drawn something. So you're drawing this. You're looking for that angle. It's reflected over the x-axis. If it's a reflection, then that means that this is also 102.709. Gordon's calculation clear as to why you would do that. Or you could add 90 to this. You could add 90 to this? If we add 90, let's look at what the picture would look like. Adding 90, put it right there. Is that wrong? Is that angle this angle? Is that the same cosine? No. So, close that's why drawing a picture is helpful to draw a fairly accurate picture. You can see, at least in this example, if you add 90 to this angle, let's get this angle, that's not the angle. 
definitely want the angle that has the same x value, negative 0.22, have that negative question mark. So it have the negative of this side. That's the theta they're looking for. It's a theta that has a cosine of negative point two two, but it's between uh, one eighty eight and two seventy. Yes. You could think of it in, in lots of different ways. You could take one oh two minus or one oh two point seven zero nine minus ninety, take that off, get that little guy right there, and then uh, you can say you know that that's how big this is. Minus that little thing. That's what you need to go about it if you want to do that. Or figure out how big this is and then start at 180 and add that much on. How do you do it? You know, the way that makes the most sense to you. That's a lot better than trying to memorize some process. Any questions there? So if you're asked to do something like this, make sure you just draw a picture. Try to picture Answer and the forces the things that we're trying to learn, like what does it mean to do the circles? What is the cosine? What is the sine? Are the cosine the x, the sine the y? Reinforces those ideas. Help you remember them. And lastly, we try to find this angle. It's in this triangle. What do we know about this triangle? Or the sine of this triangle? What do we know about this angle? Opposite angle and it's adjacent, or side, opposite side and it's adjacent side. It's, a, it's opposite over adjacent. What do we call that? We call it tangent. It's made of the tangent of this angle. So we take the inverse tangent of 11 over 8. We'll get theta. Okay. Theta is negative 0.22. Theta is Find the rest of uh, the information like you can solve the triangle with gymnastics or activated or all. So if person's quiz that you're writing is uh, something you can use help on, just go a note there or make a question about that. If everything's good, then you just pass it back, take a look. When you're done, pass it over there. So we're dealing with the law of sines, and like, the way to know that you can apply the law of sines, do you not shake the hip that I'm talking to the class, and you should stop turning to someone else and talking to them. You can know that you're sort of like, that you could or you should apply the law of sines if you have some information about a triangle, or at least an angle and its opposite. You got a triangle, somebody tells you about a triangle. That's very often. And they give you an angle and the opposite side to give you at least these two things. And a lot of sides could be used. Okay. And if that's all you have, if you have a, an angle and its opposite side and just like another side and another angle, then that's pretty much all you can use. You can use a lot of sides. What if you only had the sides? Okay. Only the sides? You want to find the angle? Yeah. That would be the log. But you can't go through just angles. Not with the log sides. You can't go through anything. Or the log cosine. You can go through just angles. No. Like you said, so you you said just sides. Yeah, just angles to sides. Just, just angles to sides. Think about it. If I just give you, you an angle. You can do any side. Yeah, it could be any side. It could be, it could be this small. 
Or you, you at least need yeah, to be slow side to the negative side. What's the negative side? Is that what you're asking? Imagination. Is it, it's the negative? The negative side? Yeah. Well, let's just go. Yeah. Math philosophy. Math philosophy. Math is cool. Um, all right. Law of signs. Whether you do at least an angle and an opposite side, then you do law of signs. Um, so, let's just run through a, a quick, simple example. And then, uh, Minus 40 gets the last of the angle. Divided by this 
sine of forty. Another side equals the other. Not follow any part of that? Use it all by the way? Mm -hmm. Have an opposite yeah. Yes, that's good. Uh, everybody good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, that's a case where a triangle is possible. There are Triangle possible, and you solve for all the stuff, and it all works out. Okay. Um, sometimes, as in the case that we looked at, that Brandon brought up, uh, the pieces they give you just don't work together. Like the, they give you a hypotenuse that's shorter than a side that should be shorter than a hypotenuse. So perhaps there's no triangle possible. It's also possible that we have one triangle. It's also possible that we have two triangles. Okay. So we're going to look at that. We're going to look at the possibility. Let's all get our notes out and let's look up here at me and the board and they can touch. Okay. I would tell them I might say something. Give me one angle. I always like to put it down here at the bottom and the left, just to keep everything consistent. So I just recommend it. I mean, if you want to keep consistent with me, then yeah, put the angle at the bottom left, and we'll always draw our pictures the same way. Or if you like it some other way, just make sure you do it the same way every time. Pictures are very helpful. So no, a straight line, you can the triangle, because a straight line is 180 degrees.
Seem like a triangle possible? No. Oh yeah, because we said that we want to do something possible. Okay, well I was trying to just give you a heads up. But is there any reason to think that this won't make a triangle just by not by looking at it? Well, I mean what the angle is up top is it's part relevant. of the thing, yeah, it's relevant to our problem, but uh, we don't really know anything about it quite yet. Uh, so just looking at it, it's, it's not like we can look at it like the last one and say, oh, this doesn't seem right. Yeah? Well, it kind of looks like an isosceles triangle. And one side's like, well, it's bigger than one side, like, one side's 30, one side's 40. And the touch side's really big. OK, well, that's just a problem with like how I've drawn it. Uh, now, if we draw it perfectly, like actually measured out to 42 and 32, and it's like I'm saying, and there's no triangle possible, then we would see like something about it is cheap. Yeah? Um, the inverse tangent of 32 over 42 is not 52. But, this is in the right triangle. Okay. This is a right triangle. No, 42, not necessarily a right triangle. Okay. For that reason, we need four right triangles. The opposite of adjacent, it's a right triangle. Okay. That's kind of their definition is in right triangles. So if we go to something that's not a right triangle, right, it's no longer there. When that a triangle is a little clearer than 90, it doesn't apply to that. So you can't use the sign of those lines bigger than 90? You can't use them in that way. In the way that we take the opposite of the hypotenuse to be the adjacent of the hypotenuse. Why? Because it only works in right triangles. Is basically because those sine, cosine, tangent were all derived from angles in a right triangle. We started the, from the very beginning and said, this is a right triangle. And now we start talking about all these angles. The definitions are directly from right triangles, and so we're not talking about a right triangle. Do you have any other let's, let's keep going with this problem. Appreciate the question of why, but in the end, I might convince you, and then we'll still not be able to use the problem. Okay. Definitely not. All right. So, like I, I was saying a second ago, if we were to draw this perfectly to scale, actually draw 52 degrees, actually draw a side of 42, actually draw a side of 32, then we would see why it's not possible. Uh, let me make it look a little bit better. Um, so I'll try and make this side look longer at least. Start here. How would we go about solving for something? What would we try and solve for? This is A. A. This is uh, B.
saying that the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse of the applied to the correct triangle. Law of sine says that the sine of A over A is the sine of B over B is the sine of C over C. That's not saying opposite over hypotenuse. It's using the sine, but not in the opposite over hypotenuse way. But that's how we, we derived the sine of the, that specific angle using right there. Yes, but you're just going to have to believe it for now, and then if you need to, then you can do it later. Okay. All right, so knowing that this is what the law of sines looks like, how are we going to use it to solve something? What, what can we solve for? We can figure out what B is. Sine of B over 42 equals the sine of 52 over 32. Still, everything looks like if I can solve for B, I should be fine. Sine of B equals 42 times the sine of 52 over 32. I'm going to try to take the inverse sine of 1.03, it's bigger than 1, and that's not possible. Okay. And you would break math if you try. And I break math and succeed. Your calculator will tell you that's not possible. You try to take the inverse sine of that, it'll tell you error domain. Because 1.03 is not in the domain of the inverse sine. And it bothers me that it kind of gives you a little Okay, well in the previous example where the that angle was obtuse, we saw that the hypotenuse was shorter than the other side and that's why it wasn't possible. Okay. So, what do you think is, why is this not possible? The problem is, you can see it appears to be the longest side and if you got something for um, sine of one point something, huh? it would be bigger than 90, and therefore C would be big, bigger than the other stuff, and therefore this whole C would be bigger than the other two, even though it's what's bigger than that. Okay, there's a theory, a good theory. Um, If I try to put these three things together that were given, I'll find it couldn't possibly do that. Here's why. It would be more than 180. This is 52. Okay, if that angle is 52, let's pretend I'm drawing this all perfectly in scale. And this is 42. Let's say that's 42. Even if I made this angle go, or this side go straight down, because keep in mind, I could draw this however I want. This angle actually is like, it's not known, this angle is not known, this side is not known. So they're kind of like pliable. You can know? bend them around. But even if I drew it straight down, and this side was 32, 32 just would not be long enough to make a triangle. Not even the, the most basic triangle where we go straight and we basically would have a 90 degree angle. 32 just isn't long enough to complete this triangle. The third side of the triangle. Make sense? reason is that this side, this side across from here, is not long enough to complete this triangle. You can see how this, this angle is for sure 52, this side is for sure 42, and 42, you can look at it another way, is too long for 32 to be able to come down and make a triangle. It doesn't even reach that minimum length that would be from straight here. 
here to that line. So this is too short. Unless, do we know for sure if this is a trend? Well, it's what, the, what they've actually done is kind of been tricky and given us two things that can't be put together in a triangle that we can make an attractive one. Uh, if, we had, if we just drew a four side in there. And just drew something in there or made this like this and drew another side. But we, it's not possible to make a shape that has three sides. Three sides. Uh, two of those sides being 42 and 32. In this arrangement, at this angle, if we made this side 32, then it wouldn't be really a problem. Wait, if we made a trap, then we'd have to try it. Okay. Try to make a triangle. With these three things. This angle is 40 to 52. If the side across from it is 32, and this other side is 42. And that makes one triangle, only one, with those three things. It can be two. So we don't have enough stuff to make one triangle, but we do have enough stuff to make two. It doesn't make sense and stop saying it. <laughs> so, think about it like this. What they're giving us is a side and this angle. Those things are for sure those things. Like, they cannot be changed. They are what they are. So, what just happened to us here was this third side that they gave us, which was not this side. They did not give us this side. They gave us the side across from this. We tried to build a triangle out of it and found that it's too short. Can't make that triangle. Okay. When did we realize that? At what point in this problem did we realize that there just was no triangle possible? When we had that sine of b would be 1 of the point. So the sine of b would have to be 1 point zero three. Not possible. If you then try to take the inverse sine, the calculator itself will give you an error. You can't do that. Okay? So if you get an error in your calculator, in the, in the, in the day and age we live, uh, with calculators, if the calculator gives you an error, what do you say? What's your answer? Mm -hmm. Press a triangle? Keep trying to say no triangle possible? Or is it not possible? Or is it? Yeah, so anything like that would be uh, an indicator that that didn't work out. Those pieces together can't make a triangle. So this is an arrangement that we call a side, 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 angle. Can we talk about side, side, angle, angle, side, 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 angle, angle, angle? We're talking about the information that's given about the triangle. Okay. So the given information about this triangle is in this configuration, in this form, side, and then a side, and then an angle. Okay. Um, the way you can figure that out is you can just like you can draw this triangle and then look at the order that it's given to you. Um, start at what kind of looks like one end of the information, the side. You skip just one angle and you get another side, and the next thing is an angle. You have to skip over two unknown values, a side that you don't know, and an angle that you don't know. Well, then that's not the way you make that triangle. You have to skip two things. You wouldn't put those in that order. You can do side, side, angle. You can even do angle, side, side. But you can do side, angle, side. So I have to skip over two unknown values to get to that side of that angle. But you're skipping over one of these values. You can't skip over two in that You can skip over one. You can skip over two. That's what all this is representing. The side side angle situation. So that would be where they give you an angle and its opposite side and another side. So they go an angle and its opposite side and another side. 
And in the case of the one we just looked at, it doesn't work because it turns out that that other side that's crossing the angle is not long enough. It's too short. This side is too short to make it. Can't make that triangle. Just like this guy right here, it's too short. And not as much as it tries to get down there and make a triangle. There's, uh, there's another possibility. It is long enough. It's plenty long enough. It's very, very long. So I can make this a little longer. It's a very long side across the angle, and it's plenty long enough to, to make that triangle. Okay. So what do you think will happen? You'll, you'll try and solve that triangle, and when you get the errors, Get that angle, everything will work out. Get over it. Except the bottom line is too long. Too long, or makes it too long. It's going off into the beginning. Well, technically, all lines go off. Well, it's then this line segment is going then off. Then, when, once we're all done, then we'll find out. Oh, that 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 side was you know, that long. Okay. This just represents us not knowing how long this line was. Once we solve the triangle, then we realize. It. So this line now is not too short, it's long enough, it's plenty long, and then you make a triangle using that other side. So this is going to be a lot of line. Well, and it's not just, there's a just right, and I guess this isn't the just right one. The just right one I think of is the one that makes two triangles. So we got one that's too short. Can't even make one triangle. We have one that is uh, too long. Kind of close to that. Just, I mean, it, it can make a triangle, but it's too long to make two triangles. Okay. Um, but that, that, that's just going to look like you know, normal, whatever. Uh, you, you solve the triangle and you find all the, the pieces and it all works out. Okay. Um, so let's do one where we do all this work. And it turns out there's a second triangle, and I'll show you how to do this spot. There's a second triangle. Right? You guys ready? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take Here we have a guy that is, is long enough to do the triangle. So I'm going to set this up so that we solve the triangle and then we're asking ourselves, well, why is this a second triangle? And then we're going to find that second triangle. Wait, so if a line is the second degree angle or two zero degree angle, then a triangle is made up of three more triangles. What are you saying? A straight line is just 180 degree angle to the zero degree. And three lines make up a triangle. So, triangles make up triangles. That's, that's true. So, all straight lines are. There's a circle through this. You're just saying. They're true, but they're also going to be suspected. I'd love to talk about the natural future. Okay. So let's see if, uh, do we get some kind of an error here? Is the sign too short or does everything work out just fine? Let's find out. Um, what are we going to solve for? Let's, let's, let's lay it down. This is B, this is side B. This is C, angle C, A, and what can we solve for? Angle C. Angle C. Yes. The sine of angle C over 88 equals the sine of sine B over 85. Nothing strange at all so far. Sine of C equals sine of 70 uh, 88 times that over 85. Mm -hmm.
anything seems strange there? Anything wrong happening? What do you guys say? Huh? It's not an angle. We haven't found the angle earlier. We're, we're saying that the sine of C is 0.97. Can that be true? Is there is there an angle out there that has a sine of 0.97? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is long as it's less than 1 or greater than 1. All right, so we take the inverse sine of 0.97. 0.97, and that comes out to be. Find this other angle here. What's this angle? Forty-nine point seven one. Let's make sure that that seems reasonable. Let's see. This is uh, let's see, the, these two sides are relatively close. So are these angles. This is a pretty uh, acute angle, pretty small angle. So a cross match would be something that's very really small compared to these guys. That makes sense. Right. So here's here's the first key thing. Nothing bad happened. We found a triangle. We found angles and sides that work together to make a triangle. Yeah? So how are we to know that there's a second triangle possible? Where does the second triangle here come from? How do you build the second triangle? We build it like this. See this side? Now keep in mind, this side, this side, and this angle are the only things that have to be what they tell us. Everything else is negotiable, right? Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So this side can change. This angle could be different from 33.34. Uh, this angle could be different from 76.66, as long as we make a triangle. Okay, so here's the other triangle that we can make. Take this side, take it over. Is that a triangle? Yeah, this side is 85, this side is still 88, this angle is still 70. So that triangle is also okay. Let me put that back. things that we have to have for sure are this side is 85, this angle doesn't have to be, this angle doesn't have to be 76, 76. this doesn't have to be 40, whatever it was. Okay. Over here. How can I be so sure? How can I be, I mean, I just drew this triangle kind of really, really. How can I be so sure that this side can come over here and fit in there? Because you, you already have the, um, the thing that gives left. 
Because the, the bottom line, like, it never gave a measurement for that bottom line. You True, that's why we know that that's like flexible. And but how do I know that this side will, will swing in and make it in the triangle? And the unit circle um, streams that would be. <laughs> here, let's go back here. Uh, Circle streams that let's, let's look at this one. This side is long enough to make one triangle. Let's see if we can swing it and do it over here. I'm trying to get it to fit over there, but you got it over less than the other angle. Or the other side. side. Yeah. So it's it's long enough, it's not too short. It's long enough to make a triangle, and it's also just long enough, short enough, to fit in here somewhere. It's got to be shorter than this side. Once you get there, you're exactly the same length as that line. To make another triangle, we'd have to go over there, but see, then this angle would be here. It wouldn't be the angle that gave us. Unless, so, unless we, made, we made it 54 degrees on the other side, like the same number of degrees, because if they never said which like, side of the line. That's true, but then, like, that angle wouldn't be. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be the angle, might it? Not necessarily. It's still just like 54 degrees from one point to the next point. It could be possible to do that. That would just basically be the mirror image of this triangle. To show it's still impossible to put this line in here. It's too long. It's too long to make a triangle that ends this side and this side and this angle. But the one that we're working on is long enough to make a triangle and short enough to fit underneath this side. You can see that this is 85 and this is 88. If it's possible to make a triangle, we don't get any errors, so it's long enough to make a triangle. But it's also 85 is less than 88, so it's short enough to fit in here and make a second triangle. Okay. So if this side were a thousand, well it would definitely would make a triangle, right? Because you definitely set that Side this thousand here and, and make a triangle at a really skinny angle over here. But then that angle with that side is a thousand would never be able to fit in here and make a second triangle. But this one is 85, uh, so it can fit right in there. Does it fit the re graphing the whatever you need away from the original image? Re graphing the units? Well, from the board. Are you asking if this is three? Yes. Just because this is 88 this is 85? Yes. Not necessarily. So here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to find that second triangle. So this triangle, well, that's the side of it. Because it's not really, the triangle we're really looking for is this one. The triangle we found before was this one. Okay. So it's good. It's not really there, but it's going to help us. In this, this triangle, what was this angle? How big was this angle? 76.66. Six. Here's the key. This side, how long is this side? It's got to be. That's a big angle. So this side is also 85. That's an isosceles triangle, which means how big is this? And we're here. Which means, so which means in that triangle, in the big triangle, yeah. big A is 7.66 degrees. And the... Um, this one? Yes. Why? Because um, when you slide the thingamajig over the line, over its... Um, that other, the bottom angle that we have said is 7.66 The big B is now, this one? Big C is now 7.66 degrees over there, right? Right here? This is 76.66? No. This yes. is? Okay. Okay. So this is 76.66. We know for sure because 
if this side's 85, we're doing it over here. This is 85, this is 85, so this is 76.66. We found that from the other triangle, so it's this. So how big is this angle? Well, this angle is 86. So how big is this angle? It's 180, so how much is this? 180 minus, and it'd be 103. So we did our work. We found that there was no error, which meant that the, the side, that other side, was long enough. But it was also shorter than the other side, which means that it was short enough to make another triangle. 3.34, this is uh, 70 still, this is 103.34, which means we definitely can figure out how big this angle is. How big that angle to this, I believe, is drawing a decent picture. Draw a picture with all of your stuff labeled, and it will become clear if you have a side to side angle, triangle, and then give us this side and its opposite angle, and this side and its opposite angle, and any other side. A side and its opposite angle, and another side, and it's possible with this two triangles. If we do all this stuff and we, and we get an error, well, then there's no triangle possible. We do all of our math and we figure out there is another triangle. And this side, this, this flexible side, if you kind of swing freely back and forth, uh, if it's less than this side, it's short enough to make the same triangle. And if it's not less than that, then there's, there's just the one triangle. The only possibility of two triangles is for a side side. of things, except for angle, 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 which would really be like infinite possibility. Yeah. But that's the same way. Every other possibility, side, 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 angle, side, uh, angle, side, angle, like there's only going to be one triangle. thing is an error happens and you're done. What does error mean? It means that my goal doesn't do it. No try. Not possible. Undefined. Okay, next thing is everything works out. Works out. That means that there's at least one try. Done this, we've already found that there's a triangle possible. 
this is shorter, and this is longer. If we've gone past the possibility that this is too short to make a triangle. Okay, it definitely works out for this triangle. But if it does make a triangle and it's shorter than that side, then we can swing it on over there okay, and find that other triangle. So we've, we've found this one here. Here, this definitely works. We're going to swing this over. This will be our first angle that we found, and then this will always be 180 minus the angle from the first angle. Just go for it. For an error, no triangle. You get a triangle, no errors, investigate the possibility of a second triangle. And if it is a second triangle, we don't there is, I would suggest drawing it, make everything clear where everything is supposed to go. I know that this, this is the angle that's supposed to be 180 minus this. Which angle is supposed to be 180 to subtract from? Uh, the drawing will make it clear. Um, any questions? Error, no triangle. Everything works out. At least one triangle. You least found one. If you don't even check for the second one, and it happens to be that there's only one triangle, that worked out pretty well. But always remember to look at your picture, draw a picture, you want to find that you've drawn a picture, draw, look at the picture and see, oh, I found a triangle, is it possible for the second triangle? That is, oh, this is a good day.